Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Michelle, and today I've got a very classic video for you guys. I've got a Sheen haul. Just a little prefix so it doesn't look that bad on me. This is like accumulation of three different hauls, so I didn't just like one off this and buy a lot of stuff at once. This was like since I've moved to the UK, I have building my wardrobe back up um, since I sold most of it before moving here well in Canada. So yeah, you guys can uh, sit back and enjoy all the things I have bought to rebuild my wardrobe. So I'm gonna start off strong here and show you these sweats that I bought that are super comfy, super wide leg sweats. Just like that. Just a classic piece. I really can't talk much more about it than just saying like, it was a cheap pair of sweats, I needed a pair of sweats, and between here and Primark, I've got enough sweats I can live in for a year. Um, so they were just a classic piece that I wanted to get, um, and then I got them. Okay, so I really like the way that this has, and this is not exclusive to Sheen, they did, I mean, did they come up with any of their designs? Probably not. Uh, but the sort of like three line scrunch that has the elastic band in the middle that sort of like it brings in your waist because it brings your eye to that center and that center is a ruched center. Um, so that is why I love these sweats. I feel like I can wear them out of the house and not be like, oh my god, she's wearing her pajama pants because they do have that sort of like higher class look. Some of you are watching this and being like, please don't wear that out of your house. Um, but I think I might anyways. <laughs> they have, I will show you, they've got that long, um, open leg. They're not like super wide and by any means, but they do definitely have room to them. Um, because I've got bigger thighs, they make it so that it's like straight. It's a straight leg, so it's straight the entire way down, but it just doesn't look necessarily as straight on me as it could on other people and other body shapes. <laughs> you will see my little pile accumulate behind me as I flip them over from here to here. The next thing I bought is a two-piece sweat two-piece set. You guys know that loungewear is like the biggest thing this year and I was definitely taken apart of that two-piece set life. I think they predicted the trend for 2021. One of the biggest trends will be cute loungewear just for very obvious reasons. Don't know who they are but they predicted it. So I got this two-piece set in this like creamy color. I think it's so funny that we have like normal loungewear and it's like what we put on whenever we're not feeling like super lazy um but then we have like just our pajamas like i can spend a whole day in pajamas but i can't spend a whole day in loungewear unless it's like the cozy comfiest loungewear but even then then i don't want to get it dirty then i'm like well i'm gonna probably lay in my bed all day eating probably pringles but i just i wouldn't want to like just lay there in my loungewear i would want to like treat it with a bit more respect and just like have it while I play Sims or something all day. So this is the loungewear moment that I wanted to show you guys. It's this beige on beige look. Um, I feel like, well I feel like, I know you can button up this entire thing, but I like just the one button kind of look that's going on. This little cardigan and the pants are two things that you can totally wear separately and style in more of like, not a loungewear way. Um, so that's why I like it so much is that it's it was one item that cost, I believe, 11 pounds, but it ended up being basically two items, which then would cost 550. So that's a great reason why loungewear sets are so cool right now, is because they can just be more than than what meets the eye. You don't need to wear them as the matching set, but there is something seriously glamorous about a matching set. So right now, I'll probably keep this one on after I film this video. <laughs> and the next one I actually repurchased. Um, this is something I sold on my. Uh, thrift store during the move. It was one of my biggest things that I regretted selling and I just knew that I could buy it again when I moved here so I was able to repurchase this. So if you have seen me in this before, it is because I had it, sold it to a good friend of mine and then ended up repurchasing it. Um, so yes, it's the exact same one. And yes, I actually did buy this one because my friend Melissa had it. Um, so I saw it on her and then had to get it for myself. So that's why I've got this one. So they do offer this top in a bunch of different colors, but I'll show it to you guys on. Um, I like this beige color. I'm into my neutrals. I finally got into the whole neutral on neutral trend right as it's like fizzling out. But I really do like the neutral on neutral trend. I think it's really expensive looking um, in a way that like color on color kind of can't be sometimes. So this little beige color, it's cute. It looks good on a lot of different... Si uh, skin tones, but I know, actually I'm pretty sure, this top is offered in like so many different colors. Like they I, they just took it and they went with it and 
it's um yeah it's a good one it's a classic so that is <laughs> What is that? The next one is a just classic cardigan. I love this color. Um, I've been really feeling, I always feel my really pastel-y colors. You guys will know from my channel that like pastels is like the number one thing I end up wearing. So I've got this like baby blue sweater. It's such great quality. Guys, this is like a, a dupe for like a brandy one. I say that with a lot of thought because I know that Sheen is always controversial in their quality. I know that that's the number one thing is if someone says, oh, I bought stuff from Sheen, like, how was the quality? Was the fabric really shitty? Did it fall apart on you? This is not one of those pieces, so obviously I'll link everything down below. Um, maybe we'll put a little asterisk next to this one, because, like, you can literally see it's, like, properly ribbed, it's warm, it's probably gonna be in my wardrobe all week this week, um, in my cold office, but I'll wear this, um, and then I'm gonna pair it with Actually, maybe I won't pair it with this at work, but for the video, I'm going to pair it with this. It's this little, like, white wrap skirt moment. Um, it's got this little bow on the side. I actually was able to get this wrap skirt, which is super cool. It's like a like a latex spandex material, so it's almost like a tennis skirty material. But then I was able to get this also in a satin. <laughs> um, so I, I always love a good white skirt. So I've got a satin one. I've got a pleated white skirt because everyone needs a pleated white skirt. Um, and then I've got a satin one, a satin, a spandex, and a pleated. And I think that at this point I can now say that my white skirt collection is done. It, I do not need to grow it anymore. It is content where it needs to be. I'm also going to put a little little star here so that I remember it as I'm editing. I'm making it February a no spend month, so it just means that in February I'm not buying any more new clothes um, besides clothes for the shop, but even then I will, I will do a consignment push. So. I will do more consignment for my store. I'm just not gonna consume anything because I'm I'm good. You know, I've got a very small wardrobe area and a very not small wardrobe. So I'm like, I don't need anything else. I'm good, I'm good for a bit. Okay, this outfit has me wishing that I could wear this in summer. Um, it's one that I would definitely need some tights for, some high boots. Ooh, some white high boots, yes. This is the ribbed shirt. Um, you can kind of see just how cute the baby blue color is. I'm actually obsessed. It's like the perfect shade of baby blue and like almost like has a bit of a purpley tinge that it makes it more like soft and like diluted baby blue. It's so pretty. And then this skirt actually ties and wraps around so that it's not, it's not see-through be just because of the layers that's going on. Uh, so I'm seriously enjoying the skirt moment, the baby blue top moment, the everything about this moment. I'm very much in love with this. Is it my favorite little pairing? Oh, I can't pick favorites in this haul. This is a really good haul, but it's up there. It's up there. The next one, I guess I could have put accessories in a different section, but instead I'll just show it to you now. It is the super cool, super fun hat. Actually, I put it on the other day and my roommate was like, you know who you look like? You look like the elf from <laughs> from Santa Claus. Insert picture of it right beside me. I literally look like Bernard the elf from Santa Claus, Santa Claus 2. And was there Santa Claus 3? Especially because when I put it on like that, my little tops of my ears pick out. You can't really see because my hair is curly and wet today because I just let it dry naturally. But this hat is actually super cute. Like, Bernard aside. This hat is cute. This hat is very cute. And it can be like that thing that like classes, classes up, pulls together an outfit. So, I love it. Um, and I think it was like six pounds, so I'm very, very happy with this little hat purchase. You never know with hats, but I think, oh, now I've got a crinkle in my head. <laughs> I think I've got a good face for hats, <laughs> which is, it can be a hard thing, so. I'll just say that. The next thing was actually one of the first pieces I bought from Sheen back in September. No, I moved here in November. Back in November. <laughs> so it's this ribbed burgundy dress. I believe it might be from their premium line. I can't remember if I've showed you this one in a video before or not, but I wanted to show you again because I haven't. Um, so it's this like bodycon button up burgundy. I, I think I did show it to you guys. Oh, I, I showed you a very quick, it wasn't an official Sheen vlog, but I know that I unboxed um, a Sheen order in my move-in vlog, so I, maybe I'll link that, um, so yes, you may have seen this one before, but I just want to say that I love it, I adore it, and I have worn it so much, especially because it's like a thicker material, I can't remember if it's from 
the premium line or not. I don't even think there's a tag on this. Um, but it was seriously such a good purchase. I do not regret this one. It's just thick and cozy. Like, that's all I, everything I need for my Scotland winters now. Okay, ignore that. But do you see what I mean about why this is just one of my favorites as well? Me telling, ev telling you that every single one of these are my favorites. But it's just such a classic bodycon look. It fits so comfortably, guys. Like, it's, like, feels almost like, like, when you hang out in your bathroom all day, like, it genuinely feels comfy. Like, it doesn't feel like it's, like, sucking me in too much and I can't breathe and it's, like, oh, please get me out of this dress. I don't want to hang out at it at an eight-hour shift of work. It's, like, genuinely, like, just, like, a soft little, and maybe because it's got, like, a bit of... A bit of stretch to it um, that I'm thinking that way but it's seriously just such a classic plum look the color is beautiful the silhouette it makes is gorgeous um, and yeah it's just it's a bodycon dress for the ages you know <laughs> also guys it's been so long since I filmed a video and had just my natural hair in it actually did I do it the other day but I've been wearing my hair a bit more natural lately this one didn't dry as nicely the underneath is definitely a lot more curly but my natural curls are coming out. I feel like I mentioned that already. I feel like I mentioned that in my last video, so if I did, then I'm sorry. <laughs> the next one I feel like is another classic piece. It is this satin burgundy midi skirt. Oh my god, I just love the way that satin looks on, not even just on camera, I just love the way satin looks in general and the way it like dances with everything. It's kind of like watercolor art. It's very like fluid movements. So I love this. I haven't worn it yet. I actually bought it because I saw um, an Instagram model wearing this with a burgundy sweater. And ironically, if we have just seen the inauguration, we know that burgundy on burgundy, thanks to Michelle Obama, is going to be like the biggest thing this year. I'm calling it. I'm calling it that burgundy is the Patone's color of the year or some shade of purple because of the inauguration and because you'll see hues of it come up more and more. So this with a burgundy sweater will be an absolute moment. So I actually don't own a burgundy cardigan. I do own a burgundy blazer, so I can eventually pull out that Michelle Obama look. Um, but just to show you, I actually paired it with this little Primark cardigan I have that has these same sort of burgundy elements in the little embroidered flowers um, that I have that match this skirt. I'll try to back up and show you the skirt as best as I can. Maybe it will mean me sitting down. It is a midi skirt, so it right now it's hitting me this length because I'm sitting, uh, but it hits me about ankle length and it's just like such a classic piece. I find something about Shein and getting a satin piece is that you, it still looks very quality, it still looks expensive, so if you're looking for expensiveness on like a maybe more constricted budget, then you will be able to find that with Shein. Um, so this one is just so pretty, so shiny, um, and it does just fit my body in like the best sort of way, so I've gotta give this one more attention. I've gotta add this to my wardrobe this week. I think something about making week weekly videos again has really amped up my like trying on clothes that I haven't tried on in like a little bit. I did buy this maybe the November, and it's January now, um, and I think I've only worn it once, so doing this video is making me realize that I need to wear old things again and if I don't then I'll just sell them up in my shop. <laughs> this other thing I bought, one of my favorite things, wish it was summer so I could give it the moment it deserves, is this little uh, cottage core, I guess, milkmaid dress. It's like almost like so see-through but it's cool because what are you really wearing underneath a midi dress or a little mini dress like this anyways besides hopefully underwear. So it's just got this like little flower details, it's beige and white, um, but I do believe it comes in a few different colors and there's a few different ways to wear this dress. My favorite thing about uh, milkmaid dresses is not wearing them how they're supposed to be made, it's wearing them like a little bit off the shoulder to give that like collarbone action, which everyone knows by now that that's my favorite thing, so that is what I bought this dress for, it was actually one of the very first dresses I met actually officially hanging out with my roommates. Obviously I hang out with my roommates all the time, but like we like officially had a flat drink night um, and I wore this and like it, it felt really good. So for this next one I have here, one, just take it in because I know it's very beautiful and I guess I'll show you it in the other sort of fashion that you can wear it as well, um, which is the square neckline look, so both ways look great. Um, but I did want to say that I am planning to do, and because I have so many in my closet, if you follow my TikTok you will know, um, I'm going to plan on doing a sort of like cottagecore outfit, all of, like a collection of my cottagecore dress videos, and that will probably be up within the next 
week or so. Um, that's another one I'm thinking of filming, maybe even later today. So that one will be up just so I can show you guys where I get all my cottagecore dresses. Um, and this is definitely one of my favorite ones. Oh my god, I can't pick favorites because I've got so many beautiful cottagecore dresses, but I do really love the daintiness of this one. And it's more like soft girl. Okay, we're getting closer and closer to the end of the pile now, which means that I'll eventually have to go and try all these on. And do I want to get out of bed and try them on? Of course not. The next one I bought, um, and I didn't it, exactly buy this for sleeping, it's this beautiful little white mini dress. I believe I got it in their sleepwear section. Their sleepwear section is full of these little like almost vintage-esque nighties. So it's got this like lace pattern at the front, but it also has this sick lace pattern on the back as well. So I'm going to try and wear this in a more everyday sense. Like I'm gonna try and do different like styling hacks to try and make this little white dress something I can like wear to work and not feel like I'm gonna get fired or at least pulled into the office for a talking to. I can't just not make that one sound bad. <laughs> so yeah, one of my favorite things. I feel luxurious in this. It is so cold in my flat though that the idea of sleeping in a little white nighty is just ridiculous so see this is definitely one I've got to be a little bit careful about wearing out in public just because the V is very deep even if it doesn't look deep obviously because of the lace um so I'm gonna have to wear something underneath it in case I'm feeling like not wearing this with I don't know I'm assuming my look if you guys can imagine this if you can envision it because I'm too lazy to change into it will be a black turtleneck with this over top of it and then my black thigh high boots I think that it will be the more secretly appropriate look. Um, I guess I'll show you guys the back of this. <laughs> yeah, that is the way that the back looks. Um, it actually falls down pretty, like, in, in a good length. It's a little short, but it's not like I feel like I'm gonna fall out of it. <laughs> um, so yeah, oh my gosh, that's a sick dress. I'm very excited to add it to my little collection of silk dresses. You guys know I've been brewing these for so long, so it's another to add to the collection. Oh, and then the last, um, I think I'm going out with a bang for this one, actually. The last dress I have in this collection, in this haul, um, is another sort of cottage cottagecore-esque dress, but it's in this bright, vivid red. Um, red is my favorite color to wear because I've explained this before, and this is like a questionable theory, but everyone looks at the color red because it means someone's hurt, like it means blood. Like in our brains, in our caveman mind, we automatically see danger when we look at red. So there's something about that idea and then wearing it is so cool. It's this like layered tiered dress. It did come really, really wrinkled. Um, one of the things I invested with in this year was a steamer. So I steamed this dress before the video, um, but it's like also really satisfying to steam clothing. I believe that you I bought mine for 25 pounds off Amazon um, and I, I believe you can even get them cheaper than that so invest in a steamer because they will change your life especially when it comes to ordering from websites like Shein where it may show it up pretty wrinkly actually I think that's a universal thing I think that many websites give wrinkly clothing I don't think we should we should get mad at Shein for doing that if it has to go all the way across the world in a little plastic bag it's fair that some materials get wrinkled and some don't this is the dress the way I it's supposed to be like with the sort of rectangular neckline um, and this sort of like weird ruche I, I can't decide if I'm here for the like double whammy ruche like does it is it like Dr. Zoidberg ruche or is it a cute ruche um but anyways I'll just show you how I wear it down like this with the sleeves off so it's like a like a collarbone moment um big fan of that and then it's just like this like tiered layered dress just like that it's just a little classic red dress moment and I'm always here for a red dress moment so that is why I'm a fan of this dude little, little, little details then I just have a few different bags I got from Sheen as well and that's what I'll end the video with is showing you guys the accessories this one I genuinely thought I was buying a very large tote bag and it turned out to be this small little almost like corduroy lunch bag um it's cute like it for some weird reason still works can it fit around my arm with this big bell sleeve it's <laughs> very I don't know it's very small but I it you know I spent like two pounds on it and I can't like I don't 
hate it. I do wish it was bigger, but I know I will find that specific thing that one day I'll be like, this makes sense why I bought this. Um, and then the last thing is this backpack that I got. Um, I believe it was only 11 pounds and it's this like uh, faux leather backpack that like hangs pretty low on the back so it kind of like makes it look like a big backpack on a little person. So what's weird about this bag, I love it. I think that it's the coolest. I think it's the perfect accessory for like a majority of outfits because it's almost like outdoorsy, woodsy, uh, rep sack, but <laughs> so this opens like here and that I can like go into this pocket and I put my chapstick in there So that's great, <laughs> but it doesn't like open um, Like this so I was joking with my flatmate that someone's gonna come up behind me and try to like like open my bag and like steal from me, but they're not gonna be able to because It's just one big pocket in the back. It's literally zips in the back it's oh, where where are you? It's full of my stuff because I took it on a really big hike yesterday, but it's just the weirdest method. Um, but somehow also perfect if you are someone who travels, maybe not right now, a lot. Um, then yeah, this is like one of those like like theft proof bags because it's literally protected because if it's on your back, then it's against your back. Like you would feel you would hopefully feel some hands going in your bag if it's literally up against your body. All right, guys, thank you for watching this video. Like this video if you genuinely like this video and subscribe if you feel like subscribing and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. <laughs>